Hey, I'm Alex, and I'm one of the co-creators of the game Camping with Sasquatch. And I just wanted to create this video because there has been some confusion as to our rules because clearly I did not write them very well. So if you have figured out how to play, congratulations, you're probably a little smarter than I am. And if you have not figured out how to play the game yet, um, please give this video a watch. Thank you so much for your patience. And uh, hopefully this will help you and uh, you know, join, join the club of, of uh, a number of people that have not figured out how to play because of our instructions. So uh, we'll try and clarify here. And again, if you um, if you're not sure how to play, and uh, and you have any questions, you can all, actually you can just email me. And feel free to email me at any point. My email is alex at lethalchickengames.com, and I will answer any questions that you may have. I think you can also send a text via that email as well, and I'll get it. And if you're playing the game and you just have a question and I see it, I'll answer right away. So um, for those of you that have never heard of Camping with Sasquatch and have kind of stumbled onto this crazy video because of my uh, our awesome Sasquatch character, then uh, thank you for checking it out. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it helps you learn how to play this game. It's super fun. It's kind of a hybrid of Rummy meets Slapjack meets Uno with Roaring. <laughs> we, call it, we got a card game with the Roar. So, Hopefully, uh, hopefully this will help clarify. So I'm gonna kind of uh, walk you through as if it's a three person game. The rules do vary just a little bit for a two player and um, I, I can go over that at the end, but uh, let's just go through it. So you start with your deck of cards and you wanna deal each player seven cards, okay? Now I have not stacked the deck, not completely. A little bit. I did kind of look at some of the cards just to make sure that we had a variety. All right. So here's our three players. Okay. We've got one, two, and three. Okay. So these are our three players. Now the setup, what we want to do is you want to start off so that it, the first person isn't at an, an unfair uh, disadvantage. You're going to give them three cards to kind of start things off. Okay. One, two, three. Now, this is actually uh, the same category. So these two would go here and this would go here. Now, there are eight categories total. So you can have up to eight categories at the same time. But what you can't have is this right here where you've got swimming, swimming, okay? Only one category open at a time. So it would be swimming and that one and then s'more Sasquatch. Now, this is kind of a pretty easy or pretty lucky setup because you've got, uh, you know, the, the swimming is going to be super easy to finish. Uh, Sasquatch counts as a wild card, okay? So this within its suit. So this is a wild card within its suit. So let's take a look at my hand, okay? I'll go first. So if this is my hand right here, okay, then I know that I can almost complete this. I can complete this one, okay? Because it's three different, right? It's the mask, the inner tube, and... Um, and then the third one is the wild card. So it really could be, you know, this would be the shorts, right? So you're gonna, so at the beginning of my turn, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw one and then I'm gonna play two, okay? So uh, now I drew a Sasquatch. So I can do one of two things, okay? I can either take it in my hand, right? And not let anybody know. Or when I draw it, I can go, hot dog Sasquatch, right? And then everyone has to kind of go through there and slap down a hot dog card, okay? Now, this person doesn't have any hot dog cards. So they end up winning this one, right? That counts as one of my, one of my moves, all right? So now they've got some extra cards. So that was one move. And then the other one, I can complete this set. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Now, if I wanted to, if I, if I wasn't able to complete this set, what I could have done is I could have just opened up another category, right? Or if I didn't have, if I hadn't played that, I could open up two more categories. You can have all eight open, right? You just can't repeat, all right? Now I didn't do that. I played the Sasquatch. I'm gonna play this one. I'm gonna take the trick. And now I have some points. And the way that the points go is it's one per card, but it's two per Sasquatch. So in this hand, I've got two, three, four points, okay? 
if you end up with these cards in your hand, it's minus four points because it's the same one. It's minus one. And then, the, but that's if the game ends and you end up with cards left in your hand. So you don't want to have too many cards left in your hand if you know like someone's about ready to end the game, okay? So that's my play. That only leaves one card left on the table. And now it's player two's turn, okay? So this is player two. And player two can actually uh, finish off this, this one right here and leaving player three kind of high and dry. So if I were player two, I would go ahead and I would finish this off and you have your s'more Sasquatch. Oh, draw one first, okay? So you have your s'more Sasquatch, which is a wild. So graham crackers, graham crackers, and then this would technically count as graham crackers because it's three of the same kind, right? So I would take that trick and that would be the end of my turn, okay? I'm just gonna leave these face up for like the tricks that are, that are done, okay? So now as player three, I would draw a card, okay? And then I'm going to uh, play two and there's nothing on the table. So I'm just gonna open up two categories and I'm gonna open up categories that I know that I can finish next time. So I've, I've got that one I can finish, s'mores and I know I can finish off a hot dog next time. Okay, so those would be the two that I would play. I'll put them that way. And that would be the end of my turn. Now it's back to player one. I'm gonna draw a card and I'm gonna play two. Now, I cannot finish off anything. So I'm not gonna add anything to this because I'm not gonna help anybody else out. So I'm gonna play canoe. Um, and cause I know I can finish that one off next time. And just to kind of throw it out there, um, I'll play uh, hiking as well. All right, so now I go to uh, player two, okay? And draw a card and then I'm gonna play two. Now, I can finish, this player two can finish off the s'mores category, okay? Cause I've got these two right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off s'mores and I just got myself three more points, okay? So that's that person. Then we come back over here to player three. I'm gonna draw a card and I'm going to play two. Now I don't have any points yet. I'm kind of getting the short end of the stick, but I can finish off hot dog, right? So I'm gonna play, we've got the condiments, the hot dog, and then Sasquatch, which is wild. So there we go. Now I have four points. And that's the end of my turn, or player three's turn. Back to player one. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna draw a card. And let's see, I've got tippy canoe, tippy canoe. So I could finish off one category or I can sit on it. I'm gonna open up a couple more categories just to, just to get a few more things in play here, okay? So now we've got four categories open and that's my turn. Uh, player two. I'm gonna draw a card and then I'm gonna play two. Now I drew this hiking Sasquatch, so I could make someone, uh, I could make these other two fight for it, or I could just use it as a wild card to finish off this set. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it and I'm actually gonna maybe finish it off next time. So I'm going to open up two more categories, okay? So now I've got six out of the eight open, right? So that's, and that's the end of my turn there. Player three can come in and now there's lots of options, right? So I'm gonna come in and uh, let's see, I've got, uh, there's ghost stories. Oh, I've got my s'mores. I should be able to, oh, there's no s'mores anymore. All right, so s'mores we've got, uh, here I've got the three. You, I could open up another s'mores category, but at this point I think I'm gonna try and see if I could finish off one. Any fishy fishy? Okay, so there's no fishy fishy and there's no s'mores, which are the two that I could actually finish off this time. So that's lame. Um, so I'm going to, I'm just gonna open up those last two categories. So here, I'm gonna scoot everything over and we'll add in, um, so I'm gonna open up s'mores and I'm not gonna give away the, the Sasquatch cause I'm gonna save that. And then I'm gonna open up the, uh, the fishy fishy category. And there we go. So now we've got all eight categories open, okay? I actually did not stack the deck, just so you know. 
<laughs> and in fact, I didn't even shuffle it very well. And uh, I had to do a quick little break and um, make sure that it was going to play out right. But uh, so far, this is playing out pretty well. OK, so uh, I'm going to draw player one. I'm going to draw a card. And I'm going to play two. Now, now I should be able to kind of like start cleaning house. So we've got canoe, canoe, three of a kind. That's mine. All right, player two. Again, we should be able to kind of clean up because everything's open. So here we've got camping, like we've got the tent and we've got the bug spray. So I've got the bug spray, I could play that, but then I can't play my tent because it's two, it's bug spray, bug spray, tent, it doesn't work. Okay, it has to be either three of a kind or three different. Okay, two, two and one, or one, one, you know, whatever. Two bug sprays in a tent does not work. Um, I've got hiking. Oh, I could finish off hiking. So I've got the boots and I've got Sasquatch, which is wild. Okay, so I'm going to take that there. Player three, we're going to come over here. Now, player three has a lot of cards, so they need to get rid of some stuff. So I'm going to draw one and I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and play the two. And I'm going to, I'm going to clean up fishy fishy. So I've got frying pan, frying pan. This is a wild becomes frying pan. And that works. All right, player, back to player one. I'm going to draw a card. And uh, let's see, let's, now I'm going to look at my card. So I'm, I think everyone's like pretty close to even. Player two might be kind of ahead. Um, okay, so I can't, let's see. I've got fishy, fishy. I've got two of those. I've got one camping. I've got one hot dog, and I've got one Sasquatch. So I can't. I mean, I can play both two cards. I can open up a category, and then I can. Um, I'm going to make people fight for this one. So I'm going to say, uh, "It's more Sasquatch." And so then now everyone has to go through. They don't have any. So then player three comes and and they're like, "Oh, oh, I've got a s'mores card." Okay, now you can't like double slap the s'more Sasquatch. Um, so he played, I played, this person did not, they get the cards. Now it's two Sasquatches, which isn't bad, um, but also if you get stuck with them and the game ends, then you're in trouble. All right, so I played that one and now it's player two's turn. So I'm going to draw a card and now I know I've got a couple s'more Sasquatches, so I can get rid of them and I can take take those points and just complete the set. So I've got two wild cards and the marshmallows. And so player two would take that. All right. And uh, so that ends their turn. Uh, player three. Let's see, draw a card, draw one, play two. So I've got the player three has uh, kind of got like one of each. So I can open up a category and I can just open up two categories since I can't really complete anything. I'm just going to do that. Back to player one. I'm going to draw a card. And so fishy, fishy. So look, I'm actually, I'm kind of stuck, right? I can't play. If I, I can play that there, but there's not really anything I can do with it. And I'm kind of, I'm almost stuck across the board. So I can just do two and two, and then that's that's pretty much it. And uh, so now I'm down to two cards. So back to player uh, two, we've got fishy, fishy. So this one can clear it out because there's three of a kind there. And then uh, I can open up a new category. And now I've just got uh, these two camping cards left. So almost there. All right, then player three. Draw one, play two. We've got a couple ghost stories, but I can't play those because I've got two of the same and that one's different. I've got a camping card and I've got a fishy fishy. I can play both of those and then I'll just have to hang on to my ghost stories. Player one, I'm gonna draw one and I'm gonna play two. And I'm stuck on this fishy fishy, but I could play this. If this was all I had, if I was just this, I could play the one, but I and then I'd just be stuck, and I just have to say, uh, I'm stuck. Okay, but or no, I'm sorry. The this one goes here camping, um, but I can play this one. So I'm going to finish off that fishy fishy. There's one, 
and I can play uh, my camping one, and I can take those as well. Now I have one card left, so roar! I roar, and now the game is about to end. So player two, now they're getting nervous, and they there's no camping category, and there's a hot dog that they can't play on, so their best bet is to just play both in the camping and roar. Player three, they've got two ghost stories left. Draw one, and they can play one of those ghost stories. They can't play the other, and they can play the canoe. Rawr. So now everyone's down to one card. So I'm going to draw my card, and can I play these two? There's no fishy fishy, so I'm going to play one, two, and I'm out. And I'm done. Now I get five extra points for going out first. Plus my points here. Should we count them up? I'll tell you who won. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Plus five is eighteen. Okay? So I ended up with eighteen points. Player two ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Player two beat me by points alone because player two collected more Sasquatches than I did. And player three got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, oh, but I forgot. However, minus one, so seven. And this was actually 19 minus one, so 18, so it's a tie. So it ended up being a tie between uh, player one and player two. That is how you play camping with Sasquatch. Hopefully that helps kind of clear some things up. And uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at alex at lethalchickengames.com. Now for a two player game, instead of deciding if you're going to uh, play that Sasquatch, as soon as you draw it, if you draw a Sasquatch, you have to play it immediately. S'more Sasquatch. And then I gotta try and find one now. I don't have a S'more Sasquatch in my hand. So the other player can come in and they're like, ah, uh, uh, oh, uh, let's see. Oh, there's one S'more, S'mores, right? So they have a S'mores card. So even though I had to play it, I still have to eat it, right? So I take both of those cards in hand. If I did have a S'more Sasquatch, I could play S'more Sasquatch and then the other one right on top of it. And of course you're gonna have a little bit of an unfair advantage because you're the first one to see it. Um, but just, you know, if you want to play it right away, be like kind of fair, but um, just make sure that you win. Or maybe you don't have another s'mores in your hand and, uh, you know, you draw the s'more Sasquatch, right? And, uh, and you're like, oh, s'more Sasquatch. And then you're like, oh no, I don't have one in my hand. What am I going to do? And the other person says, ah, haha, s'mores. Then you're stuck with the s'mores card. So there we go. There's. There are the rules for the two and three player game of Camping with Sasquatch, or actually two player plus, you know, like three plus. So uh, I hope that's helped clarify. If you have any questions at any point on how to play the game or something's not clear, uh, feel free to email me. And uh, you can just email me at alex at lethalchickengames.com. I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you so much for checking out our game. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we also have uh, another game called What the Film. If you haven't had a chance to play that one yet, please make sure to check out What the Film. It's a fun party game and uh, it is family friendly, even though the title may kind of allude to otherwise. It's it's not. It's it's. It's not, uh, there's nothing inappropriate in it. Um, it is a family game. And uh, again, thank you for checking out our games and we'll see you soon. Bye.